The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Global Position Enhance Kuwait's regional and global presence in spheres such as diplomacy, trade, culture and philanthropy. Over the decades, Kuwait has endeavored to promote literature and art, both internally and externally. Large cultural monuments have been established in Kuwait, including Abdullah Salim Cultural Center, which is one of the world's largest museum exhibition areas. The Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center creates a new world-class museum district within Kuwait. Together with Sheikh Jabr Al Ahmed Cultural Center, it will form Kuwait's new national cultural district. The Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center is a cultural complex in Kuwait owned by the Amiri Diwan. Abdullah Salim Cultural Center was inaugurated on the 5th of February 2018 in the presence of the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, while the center opened its doors to visitors on the 14th of March 2018. Abdullah Salim Cultural Center is located in Shab, an area of the province of Hawalli, located on the coast of the Arabian Gulf. The Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center houses four museums, namely Space Museum, Natural History Museum, Science and Technology Museum, and Arab Islamic Science Museum. It includes 22 display halls with total exhibit area of 22,000 square meters, making it one of the largest museum projects in the world. It houses over 1,100 exhibits. The 13-hectare project consists of a center for fine arts, a theater, public spaces that include outdoor exhibits, cafes and restaurants, gift shops, beautiful gardens, water fountains and parking lots. Using leading-edge technology, immersive environments, large-scale models and compelling interactivity across all four museums, the Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center provides an exciting range of attractions as well as a fresh new learning approach for nationals. Abdullah Salim Cultural Center has a 300-person theater, children's play areas and a number of cafes. The center also has a large car park, which makes it easy for visitors to attend. The center is an integrated project that meets the needs of all researchers and those interested in culture and art. It's meant to promote cultural renaissance in the Middle East and to enhance national talent and creativity. It also presents an important step towards national renaissance. The center's information team provides visitors with the up-to-date information on museums and events, adding that the center offered a number of other services to visitors to make their visit more enjoyable, including wheelchair rental and baby stroller lockers. The museums were designed to be easily accessible by everyone, including those with special needs. Abdullah Salim Cultural Center is located on an area of 130,000 square meters and cost about 117 million Kuwaiti dinars. Abdullah Salim Cultural Center won the LEAF Awards, one of the most important and prestigious awards in the field of architecture. The Judges Committee, which was one of the most important architects in the world, chose Abdullah Salim Cultural Projects. They emphasize that the project is distinguished from all aspects in terms of design, museums, cultural and scientific exhibitions. The completion percentage of Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center project is 100%. The Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center is a cultural complex in Kuwait owned by the Amiri Diwan. Now we will take you on a social media tour regarding Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center. From a Shura Kuwaiti account, Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center wins the award of the best engineering project from the British Global Building Foundation in the Middle East and North Africa Public category in 2018. And the project received a five-star certificate to qualify for the largest prize in its class which will include all contents of the world. And from Tourism in Kuwait account, Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center, one of the biggest landmark of the cultural development of its kind around the world. Here Sir Jalib Jabal said the Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center includes several museums and facilities, including 
the Natural History Museum, Science and Technology Museum, Fine Arts Center, Museum of Arab Islamic Science, and the Space and Theater Museum. And from Naba El Kuwait account, discover the wonders of the universe at the Abdullah Salim Cultural Center. Saleh Hassan said, Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center needs a full day to give the place his right. And finally from Abdurrahman Talal account, Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center is one of the modern landmarks of Kuwait, a magnificent icon and a museum containing a wealth of information. For more information or details regarding Sheikh Abdullah Salim Cultural Center, please visit the website and the accounts on the screen. It is not just an arbitrary statement, but a scientific fact, on which the World Health Organization has built studies in the classification of video games within the practices of addiction. Perhaps video game makers are driven from obsession with these games to permanent development to achieve more attractions. Uh, the main objective of this uh, workshop is uh, to introduce the effects of video games on the community and how have uh, video games uh, evolved in the recent years. Uh, there were several questions on how to control the addiction of video games. Uh, there were questions from the parents of uh, young children and who have uh, cases of addiction. Uh, we were uh, mainly uh, giving suggestions on how uh, to solve these issues uh, using several methods, control methods. And uh, hopefully everyone will be happy at the end and uh, have better control because video games have uh, really uh, benefited uh, because video games has uh, because video games have many benefits on uh, on the young children and uh, we believe this hobby has to grow in a healthy way and i have enjoyed his presentation about video games especially its advantages and how, and how its harm to the children affected and i want to give them a sp uh, small advice not to spend their time with the video games and spend their time with the reading or writing or a drawing that's all they seem to do so well as the number of video game users is increasing dramatically. Smartphone technology has made it easier to access and practice video games anywhere.